The Mayan calendar is never ending. The Mayan calendar is continuation of cycles. Language. One short cycle have connection with another cycle. And this cycle has connection with another. And something like this. It's continuation and continuation. Go to the end, the cycle. But that cycle on short, short calendar, example, the calendar of 30 years. And then the next is 52 years. So the 30 years, it has connection with uh, 52 years. It's like this. And, but in this December 21st, going to the end of one cycle of calendar, the name is Sekeb, and that's the, the calendar of 5,000. 120, uh, 25 years. So, but this calendar, or all these years, had connection with another calendar too. So there's other calendars? There's other Mayan calendars? Many. We have around 17 calendars of the Mayas today. So one is for 23 years, another for 52 years, another 520 years, like this. And this big cycle is ending? The big cycle of 5,125 is ending in, the, in December 21st this year. What happens when the calendar ends? Well, another cycle begin again. And then, but the importance is on, on trying to understand this calendar is going to the end. According with the Mayan calendars is, is a cycle of sun, something about the sun, our beautiful father sun. Go to the end and then start another calendar. So it's like this, never end, finish it, and finish every, everything in the Mayan calendars. It's one hand connection with another, 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 like this. But important is something going to happen in the sun, because it looks like go to the end, sun cycle, big cycle of the sun. And then December 22nd, start another. Mm. And the sun is cycling where? where? What cycle is happening with the sun? Suppose is something is going to change in the sun. Exactly what's going to change, I don't know, because Suppose long time ago, all the Mayas, they knew exactly what's going to happen. But since we, it came here, the Spanish civilization, it destroyed many things about this information. For me, I can remember some parts, but, but it's difficult because there's no more information. Remember, they destroyed the stelas, they destroyed the codes, they destroyed many things. But... Um, I know something about this because it's part of my education and the Mayan tradition. But completed information, I don't know because, you know, there's the streets. So is there something we can do on that day? Well, my recommendation is like the Mayas, uh, my ancestors, every time when you go to the end some cycle, so we need to go in front of the sun to do meditation and pray for the next cycle. And we can ask, can be much better than this cycle. Next, it looks like more like cosmic information is coming for to understand the cosmos, the time of the cosmos. Why then all the predictions of destruction 
doom. <coughs> Happened that because is like uh, in this crazy Western culture, when something go to the end, is come negative predictions like the end something, the destruction, or many things like this. But not in the Mayan culture. Because we understand when you finish one cycle, we need to pray to the time, to the cycle of the time, and ask to Hunapku to be much better than the new cycle. Hunapku, what is that? Hunapku is the god in Maya is our God in Maya. Hunapku is the giver of the movement, movement and measure. So what's going to come in the next cycle? Movement and measure. Uh, okay. Where are you going to be in December 21st? I hope can be in Chichen Itza, which is, is the most huge ceremony center we have today in close to my place and in the peninsula is the most huge ceremonial center. And I understand my ancestors, the spirit of my ancestors is there, is going to be there, watching us and praying with us for to be better the next cycle. I've heard that there are, there's a big cycle of 26,000 years but you said 5,125. Well, remember I, I told you in the Mayas we had 17 calendars. One has connection, one is small with an, another a little more big like this. So all the calendars have connection all together. In December 21st it's going to end, going to the end one long count that Eric Thompson put that name. But the really long count for me is 26,000 26, years. That really, the really count because it's the, the really moment when many things are going to change in the air. So today, something's going to change, but the principle of us is the calendar of 26,000 years. Is when suppose the, the sun is going to appear in another place. Like today, appear in the east. In the cycle of 26,000 years, can appear in the west. So big changes can happen in this way. They move things. Today, our earth the sun coming from the east. Suppose in 26,000 years it's going to appear in the, in the west. But when that happens, it's because many things in the cosmos is going to change in our solar system. So is that the, the, the shift of the pole, the north pole on the earth? Yes, something can happen like this. And this is not the first time it happened that happening many times. That's one of the reasons in Alaska, if you excavate there, you can find oil. Uh, oil, we know, is part of the vegetation thousand, thousand years ago. So, so that's one of the demonstrations. That cycle went to the end many times. Uh, is that then what's going to happen in December? Well, we don't know exactly. That's another information. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe many people, they don't know about that because when the Spanish came to the Maya land, they destroyed it. a lot of codices. They destroyed a lot of stellas. And with that, they raised it, the information. It was there. Uh, today, I hope more institutions can can do some um, some fun raison like for for more people can study more deep the Mayan culture and then they can find something can tell the truth 
what can happen. But for me, my investigation is not so deep in that way because, you know, it's I'm not a, a rich people, I not belong to any institution to help it with some some money for can continue to study. The book I have there about Mayan calendars, the eight Mayan calendars, this is the first time somebody published something like this. But that information I have there is the traditional information they give to me a long time ago for part of my family. So, but I hope maybe another institution for, for something to help them for money, another investigation can come and know more about this. But it's good if new students about this come to the Mayan traditions because we keep something there. The institutions we have today, like, like Mexico, in Elina, uh, they more study more the European culture for to understand Mayan calendars. So they don't go directly to the traditional people to ask what they understand. And the information I have in my books is traditional information. Because it's, it's, it's something exists in the memory of the people today and the Mayan culture is there. Is there a place where we can go study with you in Mexico? Well, now I am working, I create, I create the Mayan community, the Lolbe, when the idea is to, to bring many traditional people and ask more investigation, uh, ask to them to work with us and give more information. I know it exists because what I know is part of that information they give in my, my directly family. But how many indigenous there up there maybe the jungle, they have knowledge too. And I hope in the future we can create something and bring that people and ask to them to, to tell us what they know. And Many things we can learn if we work in that way. But problem today, in Mexico like to know more about calendars. They call in Europe or they call people they don't know not, not very much about calendars and they can explain. And they, the, 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 the institutions there, because some people from some university, chair university in it, can explain something about calendars, it's better they took that than go to the traditional people. That's one of the reasons, big mistake to understand calendars. Today, in the, the official teaching in Mexico, Eric Thompson, he established, how many years ago, the Mayas started the civilization, and today, they're repeating the same story. For I deal with the land, the tons, so many things like that. But never go to the traditional people to ask. That's the one that is most of the humanity, they don't understand the Mayan calendars. But I thought the Mayans disappeared and they went to the stars. That is the story of Eric uh, is the Von Daniken. The Mayas, we still are there. Look, they're Maya. Look at my eyes. <laughs> I am Maya. So, um, so mistake, many mistake in the Maya, in the Maya education today, because they've been repeating what the Spanish they said about the Mayas, or what Daniken he, he said about the Mayas. For Daniken it was easy. They say, oh, the Mayas disappear. But close to them is some Mayan sit down there. Disappear or appear there. <laughs> so many mistakes exist in the system, and we need to take out all the mistakes, and then in that way, going to the traditional people, we can understand much better the really Mayan civilization. One of the 
principal I think is try to wake up the memory because in our memory everything is there but what kind of education what teacher they activate the memory but they, maybe we need to go deep inside the Mayan culture in rituals for activate the memory but that memory the memory uh, they don't have pollution because you know since you begin to understand something with some theories like uh, I'm coming now again to explain this if you believe you coming from the monkeys and then you have memory the monkeys okay in Maya is not in that way it work uh, in Maya we need to pray to the sun we need to pray to the cosmos because the sun make wake up your memory um, with the Mayas in the Popol Vuh, in our sacred book, say, when Tepeo and Gugu Mats, they were here, they begin to watch how the Creator begin to do formation of the, of the earth, of the Mother Earth. So Tepeo and Gugu Mats, they, they've been watching. So difficult to understand this, because where they were Tepeo and Gugu Mats, they were in some place in the cosmos. Mm -hmm. And then, because they watched that, so they know the beginning of everything. What the Popol Vuh did not say? The monkeys, they were watching how the creator they've been doing the, the world. No? They said, Tepeo and Gugumas. And Tepeo is the first creator for everything. And Gugumas is second, but one and another is duality. So how we're going to wake up the memory? Only working with the information of the cosmos. Not believing in theories like Darwin. Or this is most terrible when Freud came inside the history. Because you read the Freud, with Freud, the theory of Freud, everything has connection with sex. In the beginning, we're not having this body. We are only the spirit of the cosmos. So, but today for to understand your mind, you need to understand the theory of Freud. And and the system they accept that theory would explain the process of the mind. Men in Maya, it means believe, create, and do it. And that's the process of the mind. So, no, the, the sex is good, but came late. Well, I want to thank you very much, Humbats, for uh, you know, sharing the knowledge and reaching out to us. Um, we hope to see you in, in, in the 12-12-12 conference, uh, if not before, in, uh, in, in, in the Mayan lands. Can you uh, give us a blessing to the camera? Can you bless us all? Thank you. Thank you, beautiful time we're living today. And thank you to this beautiful place they let us give the Mayan information, the traditional Mayan information. Because I know many people are going to watch what we're saying and with what we're trying to understand. So many people are going to watch this and I, I know they're going to begin to wake up the memory. The memory is everything is there. So be it. Thank you. Thank you. For more information on the next Star Knowledge Conference, go to starknowledgeconference.com.